Hello, Hans here. Um, I'm just going to do a follow-up video from the first one, uh, explaining the first part that I'm doing in uh, my Block Booster Blueprint, and that is the keyword research. I've actually, this is the last part that I've updated in the system or added on for automation sake. Um, and what this keyword research does, like it's tailored to doing uh, topical authority maps. Um, so the same as Matt uh, Diggity himself is talking about in uh, some of his topical authority videos around how to cluster keywords, how to structure them around uh, high, uh, higher topics, and then doing subtopics within those um, verticals. So I've uh, taken a demo in uh, skincare as uh, some of you might know so um, i'm calling for example vitamin c serum i'm calling this a tier one and skincare serum is a tier zero um, what i mean by this is a tier zero is a higher level topic that uh, for all purposes does probably doesn't have a lot of search uh, search queries on Google because it's simply too broad and too generic but vitamin C serum falls within skincare serum and that's why it's a tier 1 and underneath vitamin C serum we will have tier 2 uh, keywords which uh, is the keyword cluster so a keyword cluster uh, consists of one tier 1 keyword and then 10 15 tier 2 keywords um, and i'll show you how we'll do this so first um, we'll do some get keyword data on skincare for example skincare serum and we'll also do that on this one get keyword data so um, you might not be surprised but vitamin c serum will have a lot more search queries than skincare serum because people again people are not searching for these high level uh, topics they're not relevant um, in terms of searches and we can see that by the search volume um, but where this really shines is within skincare serum now i would like to build out topics um, or keywords or skincare serum so let's do five I can do 10, 20, 30, for example, for skincare. Uh, and then I'm going to create tier one topics. And it's going to create five tier one topics. And it's going to paste in, like it's going to scrape uh, SERP data, SEO data, related keywords, related searches to like generate a topical map or uh, these high level tier one keywords within skincare serum. And I'm only pressing five and you would like, I would do 30 or 50 and then um, take out the ones that I don't like. And then again, we do, we get the search volume and keyword difficulty. And we can see that we didn't hit that many great ones here. Uh, when it's, when there's nothing here, uh, it might not be that relevant. Um, so we can see benefits of using skincare, best serum for dry skin. Um, and so forth. So let's do we'll delete these records and then do five more just for shits and giggles. Um, and then we'll move on to uh, to do vitamin C serum and see how that looks once we generate. Let's do ten. Um, we'll do ten uh, tier two keywords for vitamin C serum. Again, this is not a substitute for doing specific keyword research on uh, best vitamin C serum or um, how to do uh, something specific that you know um, should be done within uh, the topic of the keyword. This is more getting a lot of relevant keywords where you can combine all these into verticals that you would like to write about so natural ingredients in serums 
Okay. Let's do, I'll just delete these ones. Let's do vitamin C serum and let's do go crazy and do 20. And then do tier two. Now I'm going to switch over to my grouped view because it's a bit easier to look at it this way. Um, so now we have our tier here, tier one, vitamin C serum. And it's going to fetch us 20 um, keywords that are subtopics to vitamin C serum. Um, we can see it going off in here. And I forgot I needed to do this. And that's because vitamin C serum apparently has a shitload of related searches. So Okay, save. And let's do that again. Done. Great tier two. Um, it was exceeding the limits for what you can put in to uh, GPT-4. So I needed to uh, crop the input limit. So now we are getting, we can see we're getting related SERP data. Uh, here we're getting related keywords and here we're getting keyword for keyword, which is something related to that keyword. Um, these ones are more like you ask for something different. And this one is just what does um, Google pay like uh, Google ad say that are related that keyword for keyword. And then it's doing all kind of stuff here. So see what we got. Got a lot. Why didn't it? It ah, that's because I have two of them. Of course I do. Down here we have vitamin C serum, um, and then pulled in all these keywords here. 20 of them and they are now tier two. They're put into the vertical of vitamin C serum because this is now my main vertical. The tier one becomes a vertical, which is vitamin C serum. And you can now see best affordable vitamin C serum, 1600 keyword difficulty. And this is great. Like these all have searches. So this is, in my opinion, a great uh, authority map for the vitamin C serum. Um, so yeah, then I would go and edit this, generate some more, filter them out and say like, now we have a um, good vitamin C. Why didn't it update? I don't know. Ah, never mind. Um, then, yeah, I would start crafting my uh, blog posts around the first vitamin C serum um, or best vitamin C serum and put that at the the top. Um, this one is crazy. I have no idea what that is. Serai, yeah, something with vitamin C serum that has a shitload of search volume and a decent keyword difficulty. Who knew? Um, these probably are pretty good as well because there are no keyword difficulty attached to them. Um, retinol and vitamin C serum. Like you get, yeah, learn something new every day. So this was an overview of how I do keyword research uh, and specifically do topical maps uh, by using automation and AI. So. Hope it was informal and um, let me know what you think. Until next time, bye.